Hey everybody, here we are back with our Warlock. We've put on our top horn fabric. Now all we need to do is go ahead and get some sanding sealer on it so it can stiffen up. Then we can get it flush trimmed. Then to uh, glue on the rest of the top and the sides and we'll be well on our way. So let's go ahead and get onto that right away. Get our sanding sealer here. and try to make we're going to make this nice and smooth as possible and again we don't just want to get the part that's touching the guitar we want to get the part that's going to have our cut on it as well because that's going to make for a nice clean cut that way we don't get any of the freeing of the fabric as we cut it and it'll make it a nice clean cut and help it blend in once we marry it with the top fabric and then the bottom fabric as well and so we want that to be nice and stiff so i'm going to do this a couple times build up a little bit of a you know build up some <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this a couple different times. I want to make sure that, again, where we're going to cut our fabric is going to be uh, nice and firm so that when we cut into it, we don't get any straight fabric ends on it. And so we're going to go ahead and make sure that we do that. Of course, that could be really boring for you to go ahead and watch. So we'll come back when we're at the trimming time. All right, folks, we've got our top horn fabric on. And we're ready to go ahead and start trimming it. Now, as always, we're just going to go ahead and follow the body. So we've got our initial cut here. And we're going to just follow that around. And keeping it as tight as we can. Okay, now, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. Again, we're going to go ahead now and I'm going to cut in here and I'm going to cut down because what I'm trying to do is follow the body again. And if I get in your way, I'm sorry, but I've learned to go ahead and better give you uh, a moment to where you can't see well than to have another hour's worth of work okay and so we'll do, so we'll follow this all the way out again we're getting a really straight cut here because we're following your body And so this is where we have to be careful because we want to wrap some of that over. So I'm going to cut that that way. And we'll make, we'll have to clean that up a little bit later. Because I don't know what that bottom cut's going to look like. Okay, we'll come over here, we'll do the same thing. Okay. And so, whenever you're doing this, this fabric here, you have to kind of get a little rough cut here because you see so when you glue it up in these corners like that it'll sometimes come away like it did there so we're gonna have to re-glue there but so I wanted to make sure I had enough fabric in case it stretched back so this will get trimmed later as well it the uh, fabric doesn't necessarily like being at um, all the 
these angles. So, you know. So we have to go ahead and just make sure we follow our body. And I'm sorry, but I got to turn this way to where I can get the best cut I can. Now, sometimes when you when you put the sanding sealer on it, it folds over, and so we don't want it all the way on there. So we have to peel back. So that's why you'll see me continue a cut out past where I really need it to be. Okay, again, over here on this side, I'm going to come down as straight as I can. But you see, we got a little fold over there, so yeah, that's going to be good. Okay, so there's a little bit more work. Always, there's a little bit more work on that you have to do before you move down your top. Let you see. All right, so let's go to our back, and we're gonna really kind of go through the same exercise today. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is come over here in the center. And I'm going to make sure that everything is kind of pulled away from the very top because it will get, uh, it will kind of glue down. It will, the ceiling sealer will kind of glue it down like that. All right. So let's see what your view looks like. And let's go ahead and back that a little bit up for you to make it easier. All right. Okay, so we're going to just follow this straight around. If you follow the body straight, then it works really well. And yes, my razor is sharp enough to go ahead and go all the way around at once. But it's found it best to go ahead and just take your time. I'd rather have the little things that I have to clean up rather than have to redo. So you can always take stuff off, but you can't put it back on it's just without redoing the whole thing. All right, so I think from this side, this is going to be the better place to start. Again, my, what I've got, my problem is that the handle is in the way of all these angles. Okay, so the, and then again, this is what I was talking about. When the scenic sealer folds over, I thought I had pulled all this back, and I didn't. And so um, my solution here is really going to be just to go ahead and sand this down. I could try prying this off as much as uh, I could try prying it off but for as much work as it's going to be I could hit it with the uh, 400 grit sandpaper and just take it off like that easy all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to go find those little places where it's peeled away because if it's peeled away now it'll be peeled away later and so we're pretty good on the bottom it looks like we just got a couple of little small places right there and we'll address those but up here, these are always like this. There's, there's, there's so much pull away with the, with the fabric here because of it trying to go over the end that it will always pull away there. Okay, and again here, we'll clean this all up by sanding it again. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to glue those up. I'm going to tape them up. And then we're going to be ready to glue our fabric back down and trim it. 
All right, here we go. All right, folks, so here we are back with our Harley Benton Warlock shaped object. And we're gonna go ahead and we've got our fabric that is all around the horns. It's been nicely trimmed and it's been sanded down. And so that's gonna enable us to go ahead and to glue down the rest of this top fabric. And we need to do that before we can go ahead and even think about doing any of the sides. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spread our glue here. Much of it up under that little lip there as we can too. So when that fabric comes down, it's going to have really good contact. So, again, another place in your ear is going to be really important to get that glue in there, right? Okay. And we're not being stingy with our glue either. We're going to make sure we've got a uh, good coating here. We want it to go ahead and adhere very well so it doesn't peel up later on. So now we're going to bring our top fabric over. And let's pull our side fabric over too so that we can get a nice tight seam here. Don't want anything to get in the way there. Let's get this glue out of the way. And so this is all going to be by feel here. And so what I want to do is make sure that I'm putting in fabric in good contact with our wood. And also since we've had to pull it, pull it back some, I want to make sure that we're not going to have any wrinkles, right? Where that fabric might have been glued down before because we did have this top glued on before and we pulled it back. And so basically right now, what we're making sure is that we've got good contact everywhere where we just glued and there are no wrinkles in there. So there are a couple places where I'm gonna have some glue residue, some glue glue through here because we put the proper amount of glue on it. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna let that settle. We're going to let it cure before we come back and do any more cleanup on it. The great thing about this glue is that it will clean up with a little bit of soap and warm water. But if you use too much of it, you can detach the glue from underneath too. So we want to be very careful. And that's why I clean off as much as I can right now. Um, but I don't want to use any water to do that right now because I'll affect the glue's tackiness this point. And so I'm using kind of friction as my friend as I'm running my finger over things. Okay, and I think we're in good shape. And so with that, that's this episode. Next time we'll come in, we'll do our uh, all our sides and glue them all down but these steps had to be done and i know i said in this episode we're going to do the sides however this is kind of getting to be a bit long and some details you just don't rush right if this is going to look right we can't rush it so as always enjoy your guitar journey and thank you for being part of mine